Hello, this is Brendan, and this is an overview of my uh, physics model demo, basically. So I ended up going with something comparable to a to a pool table with a couple of pool balls to do kind of a trick in here. So I'm going to go over one of the issues that I ran into first, which is the difference between the way Blender game renders something and the way Blender render renders something. I had a, some issues with this uh, corner pocket here trying to get this ball to go in there. Now if you watch it in Blender game, you should see that it works like pretty darn good. At least I think so. There. So <clears throat> that was encouraging the first time I saw it. So I went over to Blender render and thought it would come out the same way and it didn't. It's a little different. So I'm just going to show you a small portion of the clip here where you'll be able to see. I've skipped it ahead considerably, but you can see the physics are all wrong. I mean, this ball should actually be up against this bumper. It should never come straight through here. Uh, and you'll also see it's already losing a lot of its velocity. So I don't even know that it makes it this far. I haven't looked at this clip in a while because I ended up changing to a slightly different uh, format, if you will. If it does make it, though, it will actually hover over this hole instead of going into it. I ran a bunch of tests, you know, and one thing I can say is you want to work with meshes rather than a convex hull with a lot of these things. Um, I did a sample with a cylinder and I was able to drop it into the cylinder fine, but I had to make the cylinder relatively large. So even to get this to work, this ball would have to be obscenely, this hole would have to be obscenely large to get this ball in. So anyway. This was version one, and this is not what, uh, what I ended up going with. So this is version two. It's a little different. I took the, the hole right out, but you'll see I plan to continue to work, work with this. I, I do want to get this to go into these holes, for example. But I was thinking about doing an entire pool table, but that's... That's a little down the road, so we're going to start with what we've got here. So I don't even, I don't even work with Blender game anymore. I just go right to Blender render. So I'm just going to go over some of the objects that I've got here. Uh, you know, the, the pool table itself is actually, it's not a plane, it's actually a cube. And I drilled this hole in it with a, with a cylinder. And then these are just sphere objects. Uh, this is a box that I kind of sliced down to make a little ramp. And then I've got my two uh, chalk cubes right here with the little divot in the top of them. We've got some bumpers with some, um, you know, elasticity, elasticity on them, some bounciness, I think that they call it. Um, not a whole lot, but but a little bit. So, I, you know, I went with a convex hull with a lot of these objects, but you can see the important ones I, I went to mesh with just to have a more accurate representation. You know, this, this is still convex hull. Um, these two are still convex hull. But this is a mesh, and, and this is a mesh. And I, I moved these out of convex hull. They were meshes at a point as well. Everything was, was largely a mesh. This little corner here, I think, is actually um, a mesh, or at least it was. Yes, yeah, so this is a mesh. I was trying to get the hole to still work. This is actually two pieces. Uh, you can see the line right here. This piece is a convex hull. This piece is a mesh. I was ex still experimenting. I expend experimented for a long time to get that hole to work. When I finally found out what I had to actually do, it wasn't going to fit into what I was looking for. So to render it into images, basically, you know, and, and everyone I think knows how this works. I'm just going to do a quick overview. Uh, you, I just went with the animation. There's my directory, and I had picked... Um, I, whatever the what the default is, which I believe is a PNG image, and then all of those, yeah, okay. So here, here are all my images all lined out, and then to you know bring these all together, I didn't actually go outside of Blender and get another utility to do it. I actually did it within Blender, where they have this option here. You can see to do it as AV raw. Um, or AVJPEG. I ended up doing it as AVJPEG because that turned out to be a, a much smaller video format for me. Um, so anyway, that's that's how this whole thing came together. And then here is the final clip. It 
just to see how it all came out. Um, now, when I had sh I showed this to someone, and it was it's a very short clip. It's hard to appreciate how much time actually went into something like this. At least for the first time around, I found that I can do these kind of little things a lot quicker. But this is the, the resulting clip. So you can see the this uh, the pocket is no longer figured in this at all. But these cubes do figure in, and I think the cubes came out very very nicely. We've got some shadow. We've got a nice roll right here. So overall, I feel pretty good, you know, about about how this came out, even though it's very different from the way it was originally supposed to go or choreographed. Anyway, that's it uh, for this. Um, hopefully, uh, I've, I've given you a good uh, good idea of what into you know what was in, involved in putting this uh, little thing together. That's it. Thanks very much, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the show.